Yeah, I showed up for the Nick show. I, I, <laughs> I'm on the gun again. Right? I think he's lighting up some something nice. But this nice. time, legitimately. JR said only under the gun shuttles. I respect the boss. Walk, 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 walk. You want to switch it up again later, that's fine. No. <laughs> I think he was lighting up some premium stuff over there. Oh no, Airball, they're gonna doom zoom you again. Playing a nice, friendly, casual 100, 200, 400, 800 game. Everyone folds around to Rampage Poker who raises it up to $3,000 with pocket aces. He loves playing high stakes cash games. He loves battling. And I think this is a very nice raise size from out of position. Rampage actually has a lot of content in the brand new advanced cash game course at my training site, pokercoaching.com. So make sure you check that out. Over on to Nick Airball. He has the Jack-5 suited. Seems like a fine spot to call or fold, but that's not what he does. He raises Tiny to 7,000 instead. Let's see how Rampage proceeds. You had a line, dog. Four bet. 18. How much do you have, Rampage? Uh, I bought it for 100. I have a little more than that, I guess. How much do you have? How about what do you think he has? He has aces. Back over to Rampage Poker. He makes it 18,000. And I think this is a little bit too small. I get the idea that aces are great. You really want to keep Nick Airball in. But I think if you make it 23,000, you're going to reduce the stack to pot ratio, which is definitely good for aces and when you are out of position. Because when you're out of position, you want to essentially make position irrelevant. And you do that by making the pot huge already. And look, if your opponent's going to fold a lot of their nonsense to 23,000 or 24,000, then maybe making it 18 is better. But if you've ever watched Nick Airball play, he really doesn't like folding, especially when he's in position. So I think you need to go a little bit bigger rampage. Back to Nick Airball with Jack-5 suited. Of course he calls. Let's go to the flop. Well, I guess we're going to peel the four bet out of position with Jack-5 suited. Well, now we're in trouble. We have a five. Small bet in order. Mm -hmm. To the tune of $10,000. Turn card, please. Flop comes King 5 4. Rampage has aces against the Jack 5 of Nick Airball. Nick Airball made a pair. That's dangerous. Rampage bets 10000 into the 36000 pot. And look, normally in GTO world, I think this is a fine spot to go for a frequent and small bet because you have a big range advantage and you don't really need to build the pot because the pot's already going to be 56,000 if Nick Airball calls and Rampage only has 90,000 remaining in his stack. So look, I think that this is a fine and good play. However, however, if your opponent is known to be a little bit too loose and a little bit too splashy, I think you should probably just bet a little bit bigger just to get more money in the pot when you are almost certainly favored. Now, if Rampage is somehow beat in the spot whenever Nick Airball has the King 4 instead of the Jack 5, yeah, you're going to lose. You are losing all your money in this spot if you're a Rampage, and that is okay. Your goal, though, is to get Nick Airball to put in as much money as you reasonably can as far behind as possible. Or also just bet a little bit larger now so you can bet a little bit larger on the turn and make him feel pot committed by the river to call it off with a bluff catcher. So I think exploitatively it might be better to bet something like 18000 instead of ten, just because I don't think Nick Airball is going to fold many hands for 18 that he would have called for 10. That said, again, maybe I don't know Nick Airball that well. I've only watched him on YouTube. So maybe if Rampage bets 10, Nick Airball is going to go nuts and raise every time. Whereas if he bets 18, he's never going to raise. It's hard to know exactly what to do, but I do think this is a spot where exploitatively when you are playing a live poker cash game, it's probably okay to bet a little bit bigger than what the GTO size would recommend. Let's go to the turn. Lauren? Oh, he finds the trips. Mr. Airball shoots up to 97%. Rampage on the ropes with aces against the Maniac. I don't know how Rampage can get away from this. He has aces. The turn is an absolute disaster for Rampage. That said... He still has to think he has the nuts. At this point, the pot is 56,000 and he has about 90,000 remaining in his stack. Wouldn't it be nice if the pot was instead about 65 and he had about 80 in his stack? That'd be 
much more pleasant. Anyway, Rampage does go for the half pot bet in this scenario, and I think that is fine and good because that leaves him with 63,000 in a stack, and if Nick Airball calls, the pot will go to 110, giving him something like a pot si or half pot size bet on the river that Nick Airball is going to feel pretty inclined to call with all sorts of bluff catchers. He's not going to have to bluff catch this time, though. Look at him licking his lips profusely. Oh, my God. I'm all in. Rip all of it. Call. Nick Airball jams. Rampage snap calls. Wonder how the bad news is going to go for him. I have aces. 100. Oh, he says. Once. It's up to you. I'm good with anything. Is he slow it's rolling it? I don't care. Once. He said. F oh, no. He's going to oh. slow roll Rampage on. Full house. Cool. You have a boat. 200. Two are fun. All the chips. Oh, he says all the chips. All right, saddles off. I need I'm chips. I'm going to go smoke a joint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wee. Rampage is obviously a top pro, and he did a very good job keeping himself very well composed, despite this um, unsettling slow roll and then celebration. What I want to know is do you think Nick Airball is out of line? Take a second. Think about it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, click the like and subscribe button. I love gambling! <laughs> oh, and he's laughing like the Joker in his face. Pulls out a pulls out a little weed out there. Is it, I, listen, I ain't snitching on nothing, but like, my man, you're on camera. When you went all in, I could tell. The real question here is what does out of line mean? Is he breaking the rules of the game? No, you're allowed to slow roll people. Is he cheating? No. So, therefore, what Nick Airball did was perfectly fine. Now, that's not how I would treat people. I would presume most people would not want to interact with me or do business with me and that they would not like me if I did these things to them. But if you don't care about that at all and you just want to, um, well, be rude to people, then sure, go for it. But I have found that in all aspects of life, being nice, adding value, not trying to be rude to people goes a very long way to helping you form good relationships and then having good things happen in your life. So anyway, don't do what Airball did. I'll talk to you next time.